Good uh, afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon, Knut. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good. I hear you are doing bad now that Forsen is banned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't remind me. Actually, I was reminding myself. We're about to find out if it's seven two, 72 hours or not, you know? Yeah. Does anyone know the reason? No, is... people, have, people have some pretty good guesses. I've seen them. I saw. I even watched yeah. the video to test if I got banned as well. The video with the sound. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I watched it. <Yeah. laughs> well, you know, it's free vacation, right? No, it isn't free because everyone's saying, "Oh, paid vacation." You're not getting paid shit. Uh, yeah, but you know, people aren't gonna like if you're banned for like three days. People aren't gonna like unsub and stuff. They'll just hold off with their sub until you're back. Do you think they will uh, unsub uh, if they uh, if if you take three days off? Um, no, I don't think people would unsub for my channel, but they give me a lot of shit. If I take one day off, I get a lot of shit. So three days off, that would just be true. Amazing. I had my first three day off in a while this mo month. How was it? I'm not sure. You kind of, even if you're with other people, you feel lonely without having the chat flying in some way. I think I'm going insane. It's probably a big, way bigger like uh, difference for you because you are live so much. Yeah. You're like live more than you're offline, man. Uh, well, at least my waking hours, yes. What drives you to stream so much? You need to grind. We can't. This is uh, won't last forever. So one day you will wake up and none of them will watch you because you're an old boomer. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that day you have to have saved up so you can uh, live till you can find a McDonald's that <laughs> needs a new employee. Okay, so the answer, so your official answer is get as much money as possible while <laughs> possible. Yeah, because they're like, what can I be used for after this? That's my question. I think, well, you know what? I have this idea in my head that live streaming will almost always be a thing or some kind of online influencer entertainer. And then if you do this for a long time, maybe you can become like a consultant or an agent or, you know, yeah, help maybe. the next generation of Zoomer influencers. I can at least show them that I am putting in the hours. <laughs> Yeah, true. I won't be able to say that if I get into that, yeah. No, true. <laughs> or how many hours do you stream? Well, I try to do six hours a day, six days a week. Why do you uh, do so few hours? Um, I just um, <laughs> I think if I stream, I think if I stream too much, I think my content would suffer. I think um, partially, I think I would almost like start probably despising streaming if I spent too long doing it without any breathing room. So I think. The overall quality of my content would go down if I did it too much, because I think I wouldn't be able to like. Put on a good show. Has the tricks? How this is how I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I need to put the content that I know more people want to watch in the beginning. Yeah. Which I enjoy doing as well. But you don't have unlimited with it. Let's say here, yeah. there isn't that much to do outside, so you can't like do 15 hours of just doing stuff outside. But you do that, maybe, whatever you enjoy in that good part. And then you can do whatever you just you enjoy in the end, that maybe some other people will enjoy as well. Ah, uh, so you're saying football manager streams for half. For example, but you need to, uh, you need to just think, doesn't matter if the viewership is lower on that part of the stream because you do it only because you enjoy it as well and not not only because you enjoy it but for those who, enjoy, who want to watch as well that's how i'm thinking at least but here's a counterpoint to you do you think sometimes that just you being live might actually discourage like okay okay imagine like imagine the funniest fucking streamer of all time but they're only live like one or two hours every week you're gonna really, really try to catch their stream when they're live, right? So do you think in a way, if you're live too much, that could almost be off-putting? Because mm. people are gonna be like, oh, they're live, but I can catch their stream at any time. I'll, I'll watch something else for now. 
it's hard to tell if that is the re uh, thing or yeah. if they don't have uh, don't watch you they don't get in the habit of watching you either yeah, so they will find in someone else instead it's about, uh, yeah it's all about expectations i understand i know what you're going for so, so, is like uh, perfect like people can put you on their second monitor and it's never gonna like go off they can just yeah. have you running in the background all day yeah so, so, so it's a good balance and i'm not sure what is best for for twitch because this is different yeah. from a tv show or a youtube video that you want to, let's say you had a YouTube channel where you le released one video at a certain time every week. I think your point there is 100% correct. Because mm. if you pushed out one of those videos every day and they were just really boring, you would probably not even watch the good one in the end of the week. I just sort of, I don't know, I go for what I think makes me happy. I think if I, if I was, I, I really like streaming, but I think if I did it like too much, I just sort of be exhausted all the time. But but that's that's the magic. We can do whatever we enjoy or whatever works for us. But I don't, I don't think that's true though. People, you, maybe I mean maybe, but for me, for example, I think most people expect me to read my chat. Most people expect if they send an alert that I'm gonna react to it or I'm gonna you know, I can't just I can't just do whatever I would be doing when I was offline except I click the start streaming button. No, I mix it up a little bit. They 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 get used to what you do. Uh, I can't read yeah, I every chat message. You can't do that either. There are just too many. Uh, ha, ha. I <laughs> sure can try. Uh, it's pretty easy, man. Uh, 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 I have my messages to say force it, so I can catch yeah. them all in one go. If it is the same over and over, that is true. No, um, but um, go ahead. But that uh, I, I was saying like sometimes when it, when it fits because when you have diff you have different content as well, sometimes it fits reading more of chat. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh yeah, that's just how it is. Most of my chatters are attention horse. Of course, we are all uh, we're all on Twitch. When I come into your chat, I want attention. I write the at name. <laughs> I can't have an attention whore as well. So how's your lifting going, Knut? Do you need any advice? Yes, I need an <laughs> advice. That's why I called. I'm because I... Yeah, go ahead. I've been on Iceland visiting oh, yeah. Haftor. And his trainer and him, they said, yeah, maybe you should try to go for a new PR in deadlift, Knut. Because now you're casually coming here lifting almost your old PR without even training. Or yeah. not without even training, but not doing that much deadlifts. So I need to do 800 pound deadlift and I need you to set up a program for me. Holy fuck. <laughs> I didn't even train for it. You can't like, you can't deadlift too much, right? You gotta let your body like relax. Or uh, I, I don't know, that's why I'm asking you. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure how to approach this, yeah. this goal. Probably a lot. You all oh, probably like all the different kinds of deadlifts, right? The stiff leg sumo. Yeah. Maybe like switching them up. Like, I can't imagine you'd do them more than twice a week or something. Yeah. Such a heavy fucking exercise. Yeah, I have no idea. No, I I have some idea. Like, I, first of all, I need to start doing more deadlifts. That's that's number yeah. one. A good start that's a good start because i know that power lifters they have really high volume on their on their lifts but yeah. they don't go that hard every time they have let, let's say you're doing deadlift six days a week or five days a week yeah. but you're you're not going uh to complete failure on any sets at all you're maybe going 80 percent all the time I'm just throwing out 80% as a number f yeah. to prove a point that it isn't 200%, just because I'm not sure if it is exactly 80%. But uh, they're doing high volume and a little bit uh, off from uh, failure. Can we do a video call instead? People want to see your face. Yes. Give me a second. I need to remove my cam on. Wait, how can I do yeah. this the easiest way? We can also do uh, OBS virtual camp, but 
Yes. Basically, I would say just take your camera source and deactivate it for now. Yes. And then you can do. I know. Boom. Mm, I need to turn on kit just to that one and there. Should be on. And I just place both of us and I screen capture Discord. That should work. Yep. Uh, 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 uh. No. We do not screen capture, but we window capture is probably smart, isn't it? Yes. I want to be beside there. Well, my cam, can I flip it? Can you flip your cam in Discord? You should probably be able to. You know why? Why screen cap? I just pop out Discord and just put the call in. No, no, I didn't screen capture. I window captured the Discord. Oh, okay. Because I have, uh, I have two computers. And you should get that as well. You will, it will be live changing for your streaming. No, I actually, I tried it when I moved. I uh, got the because Yaba got her PC back, so I took the PC she'd been using, mm -hmm. got a double setup. But it seems annoying. It seems uh, I don't know. Partially making the alerts. How, can you even hear alerts on your computer? Your of course computer? I can. That's because you haven't okay. set it up properly. I'll, I'll no. explain to you. I'll 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 just explain fast. Like you have, right. you have OBS obviously, camera, microphone, all of the, uh, and headset is all connected to your streaming PC. The headset's connected to the streaming PC. Headset connected to the streaming PC. Huh. And in your streaming PC, there's two things you need. Capture card and a sound card with um, optical in. Okay. So you have an optical digital cable in your sound card in your uh, gaming PC. And you have a HDMI out on your graphics card, which you plug. Yeah. So, so then you take sound through optical or the digital sound from your uh, gaming PC into the sound card in your streaming PC. And that acts like a microphone almost, but it's digital, so it won't be any uh, loss of quality. And then oh. you just click, uh, you know, when you're, uh, we want to listen to a source, in input source, you just do it in Windows, listen to this, and then it plays all the sounds that you have on your gaming PC. If you got that. Yeah, no, I think I follow. Yeah. It's a lot of work though for uh, when I you do. when you have the sound card, this is the simplest, easiest solution that never fails, and it's really, really easy. It takes when you have plugged the cable, it takes you thirty seconds to just uh, set, do the setting and then it's done. Yeah, you know, when are you gonna start doing like uh, programming streams when you build your own Twitch tools? I, I, built, I, I can't do programming at all, but I have built all and my now, computers. There's AI that can help you now. Yeah, true. I need help. I tried to make it write some software just for fun. But I have built my computers, both of those I have here. And we have, because my streaming computer broke down last year. <laughs> Fuck. Like okay. in the middle of a stream. So I turned on the mobile stream and we, we drove two hours almost to a store that we couldn't make because it was closed but i pre-ordered so we met the guy that worked there behind like this storage facility looked really sketchy and got the got all the parts we needed for a computer drove back home and started building the same night jesus christ <laughs> i would have been like hey guys sorry pc broke down i i'm gonna need a week to fix this yeah <laughs> oh but it isn't that a good idea for content? <laughs> Which part? The whole the, drug the whole the thing? whole journey. <laughs> Maybe not I'm the drive that, itself. Uh, the internet's pretty shit out here where we moved. Actually, like the four G, five G. Yeah. It's pretty spotty. I get but, that uh, can be an can issue. Be <laughs> yeah. I haven't done many like driving streams. People seem to sort of like that, but I mean, you can't really read chat, can you? 
it it depends like how you do it if you like you can watch, you can look at your gps but you can't sit and read but you could like glance yeah. now and then like like you would do if you were looking at your gps but you can't do more than that now but they can yeah, tts well, you, can you. yes yeah yeah they can tts you really hard and you can just sit and talk to them through the tts yeah i found that yeah the problem is they should post too much in my chat right it would never work <laughs> Too much shit, uh, TTS. They do that here as well. Straight up, just reads chat all the time while driving. Blackpool oh. says you look so tiny next to Nut N Y M N people. Okay, don't listen. To <laughs> Re-listen. Redoppinger says. Okay. That was a bad idea. Uh, what was it? Your TTS on your phone? Yeah, I just turned it on while well, fast. I discovered that setting the other day. Very uh, nice. Hey, you can. Uh, was that what they were uh, typing in chat or what they were sending yeah. in alerts? No, they were typing that. Ah, that one, yeah. You used the uh, stream buddy? Uh, no, IRL chat. Uh, they're completely the same. The difference is yeah. just stream buddy is still being updated, but not IRL chat or whatever. Oh, okay, fair enough. But they're comp they look the same. But yes, you wanted. Let let's not. We we have been uh, stalling. This is what I yeah. what I do on my stream. We just <laughs> go into different topics. So so it's always something to do. But uh, you uh, you wanted a little update. Give a little yeah, update. Yeah, it'd be fun to talk about because like so for people that weren't here or watching last time about three months ago now a bit more. I talked to Knut to try to get motivated to go back, start this year properly in the gym. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if we have any free pictures of me or whatever. I'd like to think that I got a bit bigger since last. At least I've gotten stronger. I'm actually looking at my uh, app right now because I have I track all my workouts and uh, fit notes. You try that one? I haven't tried it. Like no. Free app. So Wait, I'll... what did you call it? I, I will make a little note and let's try it out. Fit note. How do I unflip my camera on Discord? That's really annoying. But it looks normal to me. So on my stream, it looks normal. Oh. Pepe Laugh Nim. Oh, okay. Can you please to flex that? for uh, us, Gachi Clap? Your... We need the glorious Wait, ultimately the, uh, showdown the right now. Details, please let us oh see now. Pepe Laugh Nim. It started flex with. <laughs> for <laughs> us. <laughs> Gachi clap seven billion seven hundred and seventy seven million seven hundred and seventy seven thousand seven hundred and seventy seven come on show where yeah. there's dots on it yeah is the day when I went to the gym yeah when it's three dots uh well no. no the amount of dots is just like the various exercises I've been doing whenever there's at least one dot it means I went to the gym yeah some might have more dots either I don't know why they have more sometimes. Uh, I guess I did more exercises, but I, it's not like I did just one exercise. Oh, I know why. It's because um, it's the different types of muscles I've hit. So like leg day it tends to be just one dot because it's like I only do legs. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> Once every third week. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, every time you see the light, the light green dot is leg day. The light so... green dot. Yeah, I see it. Twelfth. Uh, 19th and you skip the 26th is that true <laughs> i do uh sometimes if i do like skip the gym and then i've had such a long interruption that i can do any day i do yeah. sometimes tend to not do leg day first but actually i've started liking leg day more and more now it's the it's the fastest workout because i can like uh alternate a lot of sets yeah uh and then um it's quite i don't know it's satisfying too it's easy to add more weight on legs but you like so so uh, maybe you could start uh, somewhere in the beginning and from when we talked I don't remember exactly dates but in the beginning of the year and compare the weights to now yeah I have that's the most amazing part with this thing is it does should I send you a picture or just show this is the estimated one rep max on leg press ever since I started since I talked to you yeah that goes uh, the correct way yeah uh if you're watching on my stream i guess it sort of looks like <laughs> it's going down <laughs> it's flipped yeah <laughs> it started at 75 and we're now up to i have your stream as well and that went straight down <laughs> i did start most exercises i started like 
lower than I knew because I didn't want to start with my absolute max, right? I wanted to like yeah. race, race, race and like shoot through my max instead. Smart. Oh, and the, the inner thigh machine, I, you know, when we talked about that, yeah, I, um, I do that one first now because you told me that was a good way to warm up. Yeah, doesn't it feel so, better after? Yeah, Almost? it's good. The biggest issue with that thing, it goes up to 70 kilos. Yeah. I maxed that after a while. So now I do like I do like 16 reps right now. Can Do you have dumbbells or something you could just put on top? I haven't tried, maybe. I mean, it's those uh, little metal stacks. So I don't yeah, know. If, you, if you put... Uh, let's say this is the top of the stack. Yeah. And you put like a dumbbell this way on each side of... Uh, could try i'm not sure it would fit I'd or jump. yeah or often we, you have those short bars so we place a bar on top of it and you put plates on each side so just hanging it yeah. depends on how the machine is made yeah okay maybe i can send you a picture later but yeah i'll have to do something because i'll end up doing a million reps eventually and it feels hard to replace that exercise with anything else yeah there isn't that much uh that is that good that you're just warming up and doing that at the same time. But uh, no, but leg, legs especially has been really good. Yeah. I, I do. Uh, I actually switched over from mostly doing squats and I just do leg press instead mostly because I can't figure out. I keep injuring my lower back when I do squats very easily or not or injure it, but I like over. You get some it. pain. Yeah. Yeah, I have some issues with my knees. I get inflammation there uh, myself. So I've st what I have started doing now to try to get into doing squats is that yeah. I just I do a lot of sets, but I go really light, like max hundred yeah. kilos, and I just focus on holding the technique hundred percent in the lifts and just do it slow, slow, not anything hard. Just do the exercise. Yeah, that's what I do too. I do I do squats on lower lower weights, and then I think it's just I don't know. I think for the longest time I've just underworked like my core and like probably too much pressure on my lower back when yeah. I do those types of exercises. It it might be, it might be. Um, so um, yeah. body weight has it changed? I almost haven't weighed myself a single time. I mean, then we'll go and do it now. Well, I don't know what I weigh when I started. Have you weighed yourself uh, some, somewhere uh, in this process? Um, let's see. I must have at some point, yeah. <laughs> I very rarely, I mean, I don't remember even to weigh. Okay, let's see. Hold up. I did log my weight in February. Yeah. Uh, and Jan, no, January 74.5. That's what I weighed in January, end of January, it says. Yeah. And uh, do you have a okay. scale close? Uh, I'll be right back then. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. 65.8 kilo. <laughs> <won't>. <laughs> you can put on the scarf. He has on the emote, and then, then it will be almost five kilos heavier. It's a big scarf, so his scarf. <laughs> it was in pounds. It was 175 pounds. How much is that? 175 pounds. LBS 175. Yeah, four kilos up. Hey. Well, I didn't know I was almost 80. I do this because that is a perfect progression. Yeah. You you it's shouldn't not. go if, if you went up way more than that, it would have been just pure fat. Yeah. Yeah. You need tighter pants so we can see how much glutes you have uh, added in. I'm not going shirtless. Last no. time. I showed any part of my chest. They ended up making tribute threads on Forces Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can show the arms. Now, but four kilos says a lot. That 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 is a good progression. I wouldn't expect uh, adding that much weight for the for the yeah, next four. 
It isn't that long and we're soon in May. And this was in January, so it isn't that long. A little bit higher up with your elbows. Oh, uh, biceps above shoulder. There, yes. That is good. Yeah, it's really good arms. These are bad pants. Can I zoom this out? Huh? Can actually tilt the camera down further. He does. You don't st stand in the best position with your legs. Right now, but I'm sure you're really impressed. Yes. Look at my. <laughs> what is that hanging on the inside of the, or in the of the tie all the way down to the <laughs> knee? No. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, but uh, you can see that it is uh, progression. I'm... Yeah, I think so. I don't know if yeah. we have any. I don't know I, I flexed a bit the first time we talked to. I don't know if anyone has. Uh, maybe, maybe the tribute uh, tread some force and thread. This is where <laughs> we need to go. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. No, but there, there's yeah. no doubt we don't need to even see those before pictures to uh, to, to know what, what, that this is going in the, the correct direction. Yeah, I feel pretty good, but I'm having I'm having a few issues. What is the uh, issue? One issue, I, for, first of all. Yeah, I, I'm listening. I'm just closing the door and opening the window. Okay. One issue I'm having is some exercises I am progressing on way easier than others. Uh, for some reason, my bench press is going really slow. But for example, chest flies have been going up really fast. Yeah. Which to me doesn't make much sense because I'm like, well, chest, chest, you know, why is one going up so easy and the other one's not? Um, and shoulder press has always been kind of tricky for me to pro progress on much. Yeah. Um, what else have I been? I think most of the pulling exercises have been going very well. But yeah, I think I think bench press is the one that's really been um, it's been going up, but just not good. Well, see. I see a guy saying he got weak triceps. Maybe that is the reason. But that would affect uh, that, that would affect the uh, bench as well, but also a lot of shoulder press. It's my estimated one rep max. It's pretty depressing reading. So it's like just below 80 in the start and yeah. now only just above 100. In in what? To, in, in the whole same period. Yeah, but it, what is it for bench press? Yes. Why is that depressing? I don't know. I just feel like it would. I feel like some of the other exercises have been progressing a lot faster. It's it's hard to to give an exact reason, mm -hmm. but there there, there can be. Not going down, I guess. Yeah, and this is a close grip bench press to increase tricep strength for benching. That that, that is uh, blueberry shaky. Is he one of yours? He might be correct. What like it might be, that you might train more triceps exercises to get stronger in the bench press lift. Okay. But but question is. What do you prioritize? Is it just progressing in the weights? Because you are progressing in all 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 yeah. exercises, so you are progressing. Or is it looks you're training mo you want to focus more on? Looks. Looks. I think I, well, I think I care more about feeling and looking good than I care about seeing uh, the number hit a certain. Yeah. Yeah, but the way would the the higher weights make you feel better <laughs> as well no well no not really it's not about that i guess but if it's like if you see that if you got all these other numbers going up you're like nice i'm get, getting stronger and bigger but then you see one of them is going sort of yeah but that like is, it is pro thinking, is it underdeveloping then is it like growing slower than everything else it can it can be a part of uh, of uh, the muscles you you need to do a heavier lift. Like say, bench press uses a lot of muscles. Oh. You will involve almost a little bit of back, not too much, obviously, but you're using a lot of chest, triceps, shoulders. 
So if any of those is like the weak point, it might yeah. be harder for you to progress in the bench press. I think my shoulders in general are one of the weaker links for me. But when oh. I try to when I try to work them harder, I just sometimes I feel like I'm about to injure them. Yeah. I I get that. So I don't want to go too hard either, I feel like uh, we we're getting a lot of good uh, advice from Mr. Uh, Blueberry Shake here. Maybe because he, he, he said, do bench as usual, then add two, three set of closed grip bench press, which focuses more on triceps to, to right. get that stronger after the bench press. Add in that, for example. That could be a solution. This isn't things I have that much experience with, because when I have been focusing on my training, it has been... Is the shoulder big enough compared to the chest, arm, whatever? Right. No, it's too small. Then we have to focus on hitting that a little bit more, maybe. Making sure that we're using the shoulder in shoulder exercises, trying to not... Because when you're doing shoulder press, you can involve the triceps to, certain, to, to different degrees. There, there's a lot yeah. of... Uh, and you can use it less. And like when I have been training, I've been focusing. Okay, we have to tire out the shoulder when we're doing shoulders. <laughs> yeah, okay. and, and the opposite, uh, or or for all muscles. What do you for, what do you do for shoulders more than shoulder press? I do uh, a machine for uh, side lateral de side laterals yeah. and I do often with uh, dumbbells as well because it's yeah. hard to go really heavy on those exercises it's more uh, I do a little bit high more reps more set on them compared to what I do on a shoulder press because I feel like that is better at least everyone gets freaked out at the gym if I do like side lateral races because of my arms because of this arm yeah <laughs> because of the broken uh, elbow. Uh, elbow. Yeah, who, who cares? Sometimes I do the front one too. Yeah, that's for front delts because your delt is divided into three. Oh. One is pulling oh, your see. shoulder shoulder backwards, the rear delt, when you're moving your yeah. arm, and one is more involved in that one. And one is more on the front. That's been the one confusing thing for me because I do I do push pull legs, but yeah. I mo that means I mostly train shoulders on my push day. Uh, but I feel like I need something more than a shoulder press, so I do something that's essentially a pulling exercise, even though it's supposed to be push day. Like the lateral races, that's pulling, right? And uh, nah, it isn't pulling in the way when they say pull exercises they mean exercises where you pull backwards right more rows not a race right. not a race no they you, you usually would do uh do the lateral races on a push day because it is almost you're you're lifting your arm yeah yeah that's, that's at least what i do but i don't know because i because uh, then sometimes I might do something that involves shoulders on the pull day as well. Oh. And I, so then I might be working out shoulders a bit two days in a row, which I don't know if that's a bad idea. But uh, I just feel like they... Depends they on how hard, hard you're doing them, but uh, yeah. usually you would probably have a little bit in between. But that's at least the norm. And then I had the final thing, really. Yeah that I think is good that we're having to talk and everything is now that I'm kind of got the honeymoon phase out the way and I was really motivated to start of the year and stuff. Now I'm catching myself skipping Skip. out more. Yeah. So now is like, now is when it really, the test of my discipline comes. Yeah. <laughs> cause it's not as in the start, it's really fun cause it's so easy to go harder every week. And like, it's so e I can look in the mirror and actually notice like, Oh my God, I actually, you know, made some gains, but now it's starting to slow down. Everything's slowing down yeah. and that instantly makes it. And then maybe I, I, you know, maybe I get lazy with diet and then that goes hand in hand because then I get less progress in the gym, which makes it even less fun to go to the gym. And uh, yeah, so what do you do when that happens? 
for, for example now I've had three months of uh, pizza, burger and uh, whatever uh, ships diet <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure uh, like w what I do to, to be like 100% I need to have a goal and often yeah. that's, this goal can't be just me oh, I want to look a little bit good for the summer because that isn't goal enough for me yeah it can be a competition it can be for me it has mostly been competition or just something that where i have to perform hmm. what should my goal be then maybe i should have like a weight goal but i guess then i could just get fat instead yeah <sighs> challenge stocky maybe right. you could find another creator yeah. that you com could compete against someone around your level or get an even competition. So would it would e be a little bit even with? Eero would be a good suggestion that yeah, you're spamming. He, he would actually be because about the same size. He is fairly, he, he wouldn't be easy to beat. But he won't, he would never agree to it though. No, that's the issue. I, I know he wouldn't because he's lazy uh, as fuck. <laughs> He's not felt like, but you gotta, maybe if I challenge him in the right way, yeah, I don't know. But it's hard to compare because it's so many of my goals are mostly like personal goals that maybe doesn't translate well to compete in. Or like, I don't know exactly how to measure who has the most success. No, but let's say you were working on the, just your looks. You would have to train hard, right? It could have been who can bench press the most in that time or do the three lifts squats bench press deadlifts who who could be the strongest at that a certain date and you could train like you're doing now with focus on looks but you have to you have to put in the work and progress yeah it correlates it or, or it uh, the the strength will also go up if you train hard enough for even though your priorities would be a little bit different. Actually, mm -hmm. Kari would have a, a good run versus Nim. They're saying, yeah, maybe he is a better one. Well, Kari's looking pretty good these days. He's still going at it from what I can tell. Yeah, maybe you should do bodybuilding versus Lakari. <laughs> <laughs> I should find someone who's going to TwitchCon EU and just uh, get lubed up in Paris. Yeah. I will be the judge. <laughs> yeah. I'll sit there. I'll. The only thing we need is a little stage with some lights on, some uh, lube, and a table for me to make some notes on in front of you, and a <laughs> camera. Cameras we have enough of. <laughs> but it is getting. Uh, at least the the summer feels more present now than ever, and that's always for me. That's always pretty like motivating. You know, you're gonna be out more. Around yeah. People, go to the beach or whatever. I have to say, I can't yeah. say the same for me because I don't care oh. if I'm a little bit extra. Because I have gained a lot of fat, more than you think. In in this yeah. area. How do you uh, how do you go about losing it? <sighs> when like, uh, I'm trying I mean, maybe to. Maybe that's an obvious question, but I feel like there's a lot of different ways to approach weight loss. I need to just uh, strict diet. That's the only way because I, either I'm going hundred percent or. I'm just, I don't care that much. Uh, but that's okay. You don't do like extra cardio or you don't do like some fasting or some. No fasting, but I could, if I 100% dieted, I could have added in cardio. Yes. That well, I've never seen you do cardio ever. <laughs> Thank you. I did. I am, I've never seen you on a treadmill, I think ever. No, but before I competed the uh, last time, it was absolutely every day for six yeah. months. No, no skipping days for six months. Damn. Started with 20 minutes every morning. I increased till in the end. It was 30 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes after the workout or just in the evening. Could, could weightlifting ever count as cardio? If you're like lifting fast enough and rotating between like two different exercises you know where you actually work up a sweat maybe 115 120 bpm that is called um, 
that is called the CrossFit. <laughs> oh, right. Did I actually get that? When I go to the gym with like uh, with Yabu, I've managed to get her to come along a few times. And then uh -huh. we're doing like, for example, we do leg press. I yeah. have to put all of my weights up. Boom, 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 boom. I do yeah. my sets. Then I have to take all the weights off again. Put on like whatever she needs. She does her sets. Then yeah. I have to put all my weights back on again. I do my set. At the end, I'm like... <laughs> yeah, but then you get a weaker lift, right? Yeah, I suppose. But at least it's like the, I use my upper body to put the weights on and my lower body to do the... It's True. not like you need... Um... Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's not like it needs to be calm for the leg press, but... No. <laughs> oh, no, that is... Uh, it, it, of course, you're burning more calories. Mm. There's no doubt. But how much more for lifting the weights up for 5 seconds, 10 seconds? Yeah. I'm not sure it isn't that much. Like, the the cardio is, is, is burning more calories during a workout than you do when you're lifting because you're doing it constantly over time yeah i don't really um if i were if i want to lose some weight which i might want to at a later stage just a tiny bit do you know uh, what I, I, don't, I don't think you need that oh just yeah tiny 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 less fats Listen, and not to enable too much in chatter, but uh, if you're going to wear that scarf, I think you need more mass or else it will look pretty bad. <laughs> you can't be skinny and have that one on. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm talking about beach season now, so I wouldn't be wearing a scarf regardless. <laughs> no, that is. Well, well, all I want to say is if I if I were to, I mean, I wouldn't rely on cardio either, but I like the idea of cardio because like it's good for your heart and your lungs and your circulation and these things more than yep. to use it as a weight loss. I would uh, recommend for myself and everyone else to at least do on like 20 minutes every day of fast walking. Oof. You're asking for a lot here. I said the recommend for myself and everyone else. Yeah, it's yeah, not no, saying I'm doing it. Very ambitious. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys getting 20 minutes of cardio per day in? Or 40 minutes every other day, but. <laughs> oh yeah, shit. Wait, I should show you. This is a crazy one I have in my um, Fitbit. So this house has got three flights of stairs, right? It's, or three floors. Yeah. Well, so I. I don't know if this is crazy or not, but when I do leg day, I, I don't really do uh, any calf workout because when I moved in here, I could feel the burn in my calves from yeah. walking these stairs all the time. Uh, it's funny because the Fitbit tracks exactly uh, how many floors I have climbed in a day. 60 a floors. Days. Yeah, I have a few. Like, check out March 8th. Uh, uh, 75 floors. 75? What the fuck did you do that? I run I up and down. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Look at Wednesday here. 103? <laughs> You've been going up and down the floors like 40 times almost. Yeah, I run a lot. 30, of that. 30 at least. Well, like, I'm down streaming maybe, and then I'm like, I gotta get a cup of coffee, I go upstairs, and so that's one floor, and then I gotta go down again to back, get back to the computer. That's, so at least just during my stream. How many how many breaks do I get when I go up and get something? I don't know. That's at least ten floors just in my stream, and then there's just getting out. Like when I get up in the morning, that's you know on the top floor, and then you gotta get down, get some food, and then maybe oh I gotta get dressed again. I forgot to brush my teeth. I don't know. It's a lot of floors. It's a lot of going up and down the floors, but especially when I'm cleaning because I gotta put stuff back or I gotta pick up the. Oh, where's this thing? I just, I just, I started like tiptoeing on the floors for extra calf workout. <laughs> Do they grow? Is the question. <laughs> I think so. How the hell do you pull these pants up? How do you? Uh, this is not gonna look good. But anyway. Yeah. <laughs> would you say that actually works? Not doing calf workout, just relying on stairs. It doesn't work for me, at least. <laughs> Fair enough. I did more than that. And I did more than I'm doing as well. Switch it up. These are my baby calves. 
What from definition, though? Yeah, they look good from this angle at least. I should... There's no doubt. <laughs> no, but that's up to you. Like, uh, if if you put in a day, a week where you do some of them, would that uh, would that be bad? No, I I don't know, but I am, I am. I go hard on my leg day, so I am like. But you I don't crawl to the car going back. But you don't have to do it on leg day. I guess. But then, what do you mean? Just on a random day? I just do caps. Well, hmm. why not? Whatever you think it fits in to the plan. Yeah. The, the, this is this is not only for you, but this is like a message I've been talking about on my stream. Like it isn't always about you. You hear those things uh, on YouTube and you're watching uh, a lot of influencers, fitness influencers. Like you have to do it this way. This is the split. This is how you divide it up, or else it won't work. Like that's basically the message they want to sell you a certain thing. Yeah. But whatever fits you is better. And as long as you're training it hard, like putting yeah. in the work, I would say that is the absolute most important thing. If you're yeah. doing dividing it in a bro split, like they call them, with one muscle a every week, if you do the push pull legs, whatever you want to do, put in the work, and uh, you, so you're training hard. That, that's the that's the basic. That, that's what's yeah. needed. That well, will work. You gotta find something that you you find fun, so that you want to do it. Yeah, some that works for you, and you have to push yourself a little bit all the time. That that's the the golden rule. Anyone getting motivated here in chat? Are people <laughs> still going out with their New Year's resolutions, or did dude? When I started working out at this new new gym that we moved out to, yeah. In the start, I was like, wow, there's a lot of people here at the gym pretty crowded gym <laughs> and now three months later it's empty it's so empty standard uh, in our yeah. gym it was it it started the rush started in november december oh and uh, a little bit into january it was empty as well cardio is really good for alleviating anxiety for the people who suffer 30 minutes walking will do wonders for you ps your donate button doesn't work down below there we go. It was just a TTS. No played. We were good because I couldn't hear you speak because it was louder than you. Oh, I see. Well, why did people show up in November? I don't know. It was it was packed in the gym every day. Like my gym is that typical has been strongman slash bodybuilding all the time. Only guy. It men's club. It's like the men's club. <laughs> and at a few times at that point, it was like there was more girls than guys there. And now it's just the regular guys. A few of them. <laughs> Some of them has quit. And now it's an, almost no one. Depressing. Yeah. We'll see them again in like nine months or so. Don't worry. We'll see them again. No, it doesn't matter to me. I think it's nice training with not too many people in the gym. I like that yeah, it agree. is people there, but not packed. Yeah, agreed. Oh, yeah. But it, but okay. it is the Gatchi, Gatchi Club that's uh, <laughs> where we're training. Ah. <laughs> uh. I, well, I think I got most of my things uh, that I wanted to bring up said. I made some protein snacks the other day. I've been buying some. I've been trying to figure out the ways that I can, things I can snack on, you know, during the day as well. It's been going yeah. pretty well. Got beef jerky and nuts and stuff. Yeah. So, mm. do, do you feel like you got an answer to uh, to what how you want to do the changes? Yeah. Well, for your questions. Uh, for your questions, what you were actually was wondering, do you feel like you do you want me to do, do you feel like you have the answer now how you want to do it? Uh, yeah. What do we say about the? What do we say about the? <laughs> Reading your chat, they're laughing. <laughs> Aware. I was not. <laughs> I was not thinking about person. I'm thinking through <laughs> everything we said. I'm trying to think if there was anything that I like. <laughs> um, no, not got it really. Yeah, I um, 
I, I did want to see if you had more things for shoulders. You said the races. Yeah. What you thought about the bench press. Should maybe hit the... Just Price eat your food very also, fast for more cardio. If I'm getting bigger, I also like to wake up at forum and, uh, and walk to uh, my fridge I think, I for extra cardio. Me with motivation, like thinking about it. You yeah. Know? Maybe I gotta go on like Instagram and, and browse some hot dudes or something. I've, I've never done that myself. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's the way of going. You Actually, know what? I'll, I'll tell you what has motivated me lately. That is seeing people lift heavy weights. Yeah. Seeing real, like, n and not even my goal is to become that big and strong, but seeing that, like the Icelandic competition, doing that, watching them lift, those things. What about watching the mountain do bench press? Did that motivate you to lift heavy? It, it maybe not like that lift uh, particular, oh. but the other lifts he did. <laughs> Uh, he bench pressed 230 before that, That was, or was it 240? That was motivating. Are you more driven by lifting heavy or by getting bigger? I'm not driven by getting bigger at all at this point, at least. I was before. Yeah. But now I think I'm doing it more just because I enjoy it. Well, I can't wait for Strongman Knut arc. I look forward to that. Yeah, maybe. Or power lifter. need to grow a beard this size. Yeah. Braid it. You need that and, uh, and uh, do a full shave, shave of. Yeah, yeah, full shave and big beard. Get and then, like, the, tattoo. the power belly. Yeah, maybe. I, I will skip the tattoos because then, then you can't go back. <laughs> but <laughs> mm. we skip that part. You should wrestle like a bear and get a few scars. Yeah. That would look cool. So you have that. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be really cool. No, All but right. uh, I I I feel like you have to watch something where people are a little bit insane. Yeah. So, so you get a little like, pumped up yourself. I used to actually browse Four Chance Fitness. At <laughs> I've never seen that. What do they do there? R slash fit. They just or not R slash. I'm thinking of Reddit now. Uh, the fit, what's it called? I mean, it's just fit. Um, well, they mostly just shit post and they post memes, but just like thinking about uh, lifting and talking about it and stuff with people so it can sort of get me into it. Yeah. <clears throat> what video is Trash! have I have I showed you the video of the Arnold uh, classic strongman uh, highlight? from 2019 that's one of my favorite it's like a one minute video that gets no. me hyped to lift heavy all right i'll, I'll find it too Let, let's see if this is the type of videos that you would get hyped from uh, let me check 2018 it is i can post it to you on discord can i yeah. See if you get hyped from this video. If I, I might have showed it to you before. I'm not quite sure. Possible. Let me see. You'll recognize it if you haven't, but that, that gets me hyped. Goodness. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Four hundred and sixty kilos. There he is, guys. This is real big boys. This gets this me hyped. Big boys. This gets me hyped. This makes my back hurt. <laughs> my back hurt. <laughs> The end, you need to crank up the volume a little bit. Alright. Alright. And then there were three! Looks like Big Brian is lurking in the shadows here. 
I think I just saw the lion roar. Jerry Bridget, this is for a new world record. That is badass. That's badass. It is. That is badass. It is. I think it's. I think when it gets this intense, I think it's so unrelatable for me that it's. Uh, that <laughs> makes it almost hard for me to like, because I can't be like, oh, one one of these days I could be one of those guys. <laughs> I could lift lift four hundred and ninety <laughs> kilos as well. <laughs> no, but. You can't. You can obviously not compare the weights, but you want to go to the gym and just. Yeah, I feel yeah. Yeah, channel yeah, the I inner. Maybe I, maybe I need to try a few more one rep maxes at some point. You know, I never do that, but it's just because I really don't want to injure myself because that's like the most depressing thing. Um, you know, just putting your progress back so far if you manage to injure yourself. Yeah. Uh, and for me, it's always been a bit like who, I don't know, who am I trying to impress standing here by myself trying to one, like one rep max something. Yeah, but I'm not saying you need to go on one rep weight after lifting this video. That's not the point. You can, you can uh, scream like an uh, ogre <laughs> in uh, 10 rep as well or 5 rep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... So the you don't you don't need to do that. Well, that was a cool video. All right, I am feeling motivated and I'm feeling very informed now. This is good, been good, Knut. We should catch up again like six months in yeah. to the year and see. I think I think a crucial period is coming up now. Well, I hope I'll be able to navigate through it because so far it's been pretty easy, but now there's going to be a lot of interruptions in terms of conventions and traveling and stuff. So that's yeah. where I'm really nervous, especially because I tend to, I always catch the con flu and yeah. I get sick and I don't work out and I usually tend to eat poorly and then boom, that's like two months of progress is gone. It feels like it's not usually that much because especially once you go back, you actually get it back fast, but it's still like, it's yeah. so demoralizing to go back and lift the weights that you, you know, <sighs> you already were supposed to surpass. I've, I've uh, lifted the same weights for uh, 10 years, so I know how it right. is. Yeah. <laughs> you I'm can't always progress. I'm not excuses ahead of time. Shut yeah, up. it will soon be uh, TwitchCon, <laughs> and then I have to need a break of like two months after TwitchCon. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I definitely don't want to make the same mistake that I've done before. So that's all. Like, I'm very aware of how it tends to go with me with this, that it's, it's hard to like keep working out if you're traveling and it, obviously if you're sick you can't so i really i really want to try to avoid having those things happen this time around yeah but let's say uh, twitchcon that is three days that means maybe five day off the gym you go the, the day before you travel and you go the day after you're home mm. and if you're if you're a little bit sick you go anyway as long as it isn't too bad do you drink at conventions at all? Not much. Well, not much. No, it, ha it has happened. Dreamhack is the most DJ out of all of the conventions. Dreamhack is the most DJ one. I swear people just drink nonstop for four days. 
Because it isn't much to do there. It's Sweden and <laughs> exactly. Norway. What the fuck should you do? Walk around in Jönköping or Linköping yeah. or whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, you, you clear the expo floor in like three hours, two hours, and there's nothing else to do except party. And there's yeah. like a different party every day. And all of them have free drinks. Uh, and then you even, hang out with people that <laughs> even people coming from the other end of the world they have seen seen it all in uh, three hours. Then you have yeah. gotten the whole city and the convention in three hours, and you just want to forget that you traveled to this bad place up north. <laughs> Damn, keep going in hard. I do like Dreamhack a lot, though. But um, yeah, just for the mingling with the people, the event itself. Well, it's, of course, it's not the size of TwitchCon and stuff. Yeah, I, I know. No, it isn't. Or, or isn't it? Isn't it more people? No, it isn't. You're um, correct. Um, I would guess not. No, you, you are correct. It's, it's less people in total. You're hundred percent. It can't be. The convention center in San Diego was way bigger than. Yeah. Or is she? All right. Well, well it was nice talking to you. Place. Yeah. Yeah, likewise. I hope you will have a good day and that you will Thank continue. You. Yes. No, I will. Tonight, today I'm going for sure. I didn't actually go the last two days. No. Today I have to go. Well, then we'll uh, see you in uh, some months. Yes. We can aim for after the summer at least. If six months might be a little bit. That's like in October. We could aim for at least after the summer sometime. No, I, I meant I, I meant like uh, three months from now ish. Yeah. This was after three hour, uh, three months. So another three months would be six months progress. Yeah. You know. Totally. Correct. Correct. So once we do every, it. A, a quarterly report, if you yeah. will. Yeah. Yeah. That's needed. Well, very good. A, a little report. Well. Thank you. And uh, what? Wait before you hang up. What was the name of the app you said? Fit. Fit notes. I can highly recommend it to anyone really looking to track uh, their their um, yeah their progress. It, it's free. I don't even know what they make money from. I'm sure there's some premium thing you can pay for maybe. But I've used it for the longest time, and it's it's like very simple and just effective at logging yeah. your lifts. I will I will look at it and try. Yeah. Yes. Good luck with the deadlifts. Good luck with the, all the training. Thank and, you. And uh, have a nice day. Yeah, till next time. Till Bye. next time. Goodbye. And goodbye, everyone. Okay. That was a ni nice talk with Nim. I will watch your clip. I have it open. I should find someone who's going to TwitchCon EU and just uh, get lubed up in Paris yeah I will be the judge <laughs> yeah I'll well, sit there I'll the only thing we need is a little stage with some lights on some uh, lube <laughs> and a table for me to make some <laughs> <there some light. laughs> and a camera camera as well. <laughs> but it's getting uh, at least the, the summer feels more present now than ever and that's always for me that's always pretty oh I that was a good one <laughs>